It was 75 years ago when the Nazis swept across Berlin and Germany, burning synagogues and wreaking havoc. Today, we honor that night, and we honor those who suffered along with it. It was a night which many consider the dawn of the Jewish Holocaust, where over 1,500 synagogues across Germany were burned and destroyed, and around 2,500 Jews killed. One man who spoke at the synagogue was Baron Julian Kleiner, who told me the importance of remembrance. What happened in the past, we cannot change. We can only remember. Uh, but uh, by remembering what happened in the, uh, in the past, we can uh, try to um, uh, avoid a repetition of the past. How can we teach the youth of these sort of things? Well, you can only hope that you can teach them something, but by remembering what happened, by telling them exactly what the uh, mechanism of evil were and still can be, uh, we can uh, guard them against populism, which has a lot of very easy uh, manichaeistic answers to problems that are sometimes very difficult to solve in one way or another. If there was still a gram of hope for us to live in Nazi Germany, the night of November the 9th, 1938, swept it away. By chance, I was spending the night at my aunt's house. At eight at night, we were eating. My aunt, her husband, her father-in-law, her brother-in-law, and myself, when the first rocks were thrown inside the dining room. The horrors that were experienced by Freddy Goldberg is just one tale of many who witnessed 10,000 Jew shops destroyed and 30,000 Jews sent to concentration camps. Another speaker who was there was the president of the European Council, Hermann van Rompuy, who told me what the lessons Europeans should take by commemorating the night. We are a union of values and uh, we have to keep that uh, as such and we have to be strongly opposed to all what is related to racism, intolerance and xenophobia. Lest we never forget, that seems to be the message which rings out across this synagogue and through the ceremony tonight. But the worry is if the youth don't embrace this day, this is something that will be lost in the history pages and that is just something we cannot allow. This is Bjarke Smith-Meyer for JN1 at the Great Synagogue in Brussels.